Injecting ink into skin is a centuries-old tradition in many parts of the world. For years, tattoos in Guatemala were taboo, forcing people to hide body art under their clothes. But the popularity of tattoos on television and the internet in recent years is transforming Guatemala's tattoo culture. I think tattoo culture changed a lot when people started seeing that tattoos weren't just for gang members. People discovered that you could have tattoos with color, in different styles, and that you didn't have to belong to a certain group to have them. Luis's clients say they now wear their tattoos with pride. For some, their bodies are a canvas with each tattoo marking an event in their lives, symbols of who they are, and the challenges they've faced. But while having a tattoo might be more acceptable here than ever before, this burgeoning culture still struggles to distance itself from another group infamous for their use of tattoos, the region's street gangs. These men are members of the Mara Salvatrucha and 18th Street gangs, an 85,000-person strong force terrorizing residents of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. Until recently, tattoos were badges of honor for rapes, murders, and other crimes, a way for gang members to show their loyalty. Carlos Marroquin knows firsthand the consequences of this association. When he was deported from the United States for working illegally, officers noted his tattoos for their gang-like appearance. He and his American wife are afraid he'll have trouble going back north legally. And here, too, he faces discrimination. Racism is killing Latinos in the U.S. If you're Latino and you have a tattoo, you're considered to be a gang member, somebody who's bad. And here in Guatemala, having tattoos also means you're seen as a criminal. But as more people reveal their love for this ancient form of self-expression, tattoos here are being given a new life and little by little finding acceptance. David Mercer, Al Jazeera. Guatemala.